Look at us. Hot These down. are the days I am so happy to have this job. I cannot believe how lucky I am to get to speak to you both. But I got to Brian, are you OK? I know that this is a big day and moment for you because <laughs> Angela has been a huge part of your life. Right, she Brian? is really the reason why I'm sitting here doing what I'm doing. Really? Uh, like, I mean, from the moment that I saw you, I was like, I want to do that and I want to do that with her. Wow. So, yeah, thank you for this. Oh. Thank you for this. This is truly an honor. Did you this know is about nice. this? I, wanted, I, didn't, I did not. I did not. We just met each other recently, yes, right? Yes. On this whole, the whole Sprint press, Award, oh, yeah. Sprint Press stuff yeah. that we're going. Yeah. And I didn't know what to say because, you know, when you're <laughs> standing next to greatness, you kind of clam up and you're just like, my only thing I could think to do was just bow and just nod, <laughs> you know? But I'm just so grateful that you are getting your flowers. Oh. You deserve so much. Like, yeah. I just am just oh. really grateful that this is happening for you. Thank you. I, I mean, I feel like, I mean, Brian, take the take the take the moment. Take the. Do you want, do you want to interview <laughs> yeah, Angela? Can, what? Oh, 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 you, you <laughs> come <laughs> here. This is, come on, this is totally I'm just going to sit Where over you here. Where are you going? No, this is, no, yeah, let Brian go. Uh, this is I a big moment for Brian. I'm prepared. Oh, I, have I have been ambushed. Okay. Uh, okay. I just want to say, uh, welcome to the Late Late Show with Brian Tyree Henry. <laughs> My first guest is the one, the only, and I feel like I wish this country could, like, knight people so you could be Dame Angela Bassett. Yeah! So I will refer to you as Dame Angela Bassett, if that's okay with you. That's quite all right. I'll uh, take it. Yeah, so I'm my here first, Do you mind if I ask you a few questions, if that's okay? okay. I, I'm sure these questions are things that all of you wanted to know as well, so I wanted to make sure. Um, so my first question for you, Dame Angela. Um, at this point in your career, do you still get nervous? Oh, <sighs> Sir Brian. <laughs> 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 Indeed, I do. You do? Yeah, I do. I get little butterflies, but I think that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, it shows that you're still in love with what you do. You're still excited about it. And I don't really want to take anything for granted. I don't take it for granted. The all. grace with which you do everything is shocking to hear that you're nervous about anything. It's, it's really amazing. Um, my other question is, who do you love more right now, me or James? <laughs> I love what my eyes have laid sight on. <laughs> <laughs> and that is a completely brilliant artist whose work I've come to admire and to love. I appreciate the work that you do, and I hope to be lucky one day to work with you. Your vulnerability and sensitivity and strength, and you just bad. <laughs> well, I'm Is done. My I, 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 thank you, much. <laughs> 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 Thank you. There you go. Oh, Look at that. That's, that's um, great. Also, there's a job coming up end Look, of oh, April. Man, if you please. want it, it's yours. Oh, if the you last want it. thing you want is me in your house late at night. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, Angela, my question is, do you still get nervous? No, I can't. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> now, Angela, this is an amazing moment in your life. You won a Golden Globe, uh, a critic's choice. I... I hope so much, and I'm certain that there is there is more to come. How different does it feel this moment? Because it was it was almost 30 years ago since your first Oscar nomination for What's Love Got it To Do? It was much easier, which is <laughs> incredible. I mean, uh, talk to me about that time when that happened. I could, that must have given your career a, a, an insane boost. Did it at that moment? The timing was different then. You know, as I in said in sense? one of my speeches. Well, black women just weren't weren't in in a very significant way shown in in movies during that right. time. So you had to wait for the timing to be right. You know, wait for the writers, wait for the directors like Catherine Bigelow in Strange Days. Mm. You know, wait for the writers like Terry McMillan coming up with, you know, how mm. Stella got a groove and mm. waiting to excel. And those things, you had to wait for those projects to happen, for those artists to create, you know, and, um, and then to be ready for when they were. What's so it took a minute, great? and it took me about 17 months to rest after What's Love. Well, about, like a 17-month <laughs> nap <laughs> you <needed it>. yeah, <laughs> you needed after that. that also. What's also great is that, like, you've done something so revolutionary that you have brought
broken down so many doors and opened so many ways for other black actresses to follow. Like, you have created this lane that has done something so remarkable where you have inspired people to go, wait a minute, we need to make roles like mm -hmm. that. We need to see, uh, you know, Queens of Wakanda. We need to see all these things that you have you have made on your own, and it's just really remarkable. And yeah, it is. Oh, it, is. Remarkable. Yeah. it is remarkable. It is. You know, like it's it's, it's truly a gift. It's truly a gift. And <laughs> Brian, answer is right, that. Brian. What's what's? I feel like since the first time you <laughs> came on the show when you did like when we met and you were doing drop the mic, like your entire world has changed and you yes. are just constantly uh, filming <laughs> some incredible projects and work last year you spent a lot of last year in australia shooting down there what did you did you enjoy shooting like down that. there what did you make of life down under oh life down under cuz i've never been there, i'm going to so. tell you right off bat everything can kill you it is not a joke. <laughs> Things are bigger than they should be. Uh, there was like, we were doing Godzilla, so we were on location a lot. And so we were filming in all the different kinds of rainforests there, mm. okay? So there are animals that are still alive and roaming in these rainforests that predate, like, they're like, the, they're like cousins are like the velociraptor. Yes. One in particular <laughs> is called the cassowary. And I don't know if you've ever heard of this I ostrich. I have heard of it. This yeah. ostrich monstrosity. Mm. It literally has the body of an ostrich, the color of a peacock, and the eyelashes of a Kardashian. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Like, look it up. I was like, what is going on? And so you go to set and they're like, you know, just make sure you're... You know, don't stand in the cassowary. They're uh, a little dangerous. They'll rip your guts out. And I'm like, yeah, they're, they're legit I was like, that's the, safety, yeah, yeah. that's the that's... safety speech is just make sure to steer clear. <laughs> and there are videos, if you want to look it up, I'm not saying that you should, but do it, uh, of cassowaries <laughs> chasing cars. Yeah. <gasps> Chasing cars. That's who I Snow Patrol wrote that song about. Oh my God. That's what it was. <laughs> now, oh let's God. talk about Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Now, I'm going to give a spoiler alert here. So, spoiler alert, just mute the TV or be. <laughs> no, no, you should have seen it. So, <laughs> your, exactly. your character doesn't make it at the end of the movie. And so, what did you think when you, when you read the script? I was crestfallen. Oh, okay. I was so heartbroken when I got to that page and got to that moment and uh, spoke to Ryan. Next time I spoke to Ryan, he called me on the phone. Ryan I was Coogler, like, the director. Ryan Coogler. The, yeah. I was like, Ryan, please, you don't want to do this. You don't want to <laughs> do this. Come on, Ryan, you rule the day. This is not good. <laughs> and of course, he was like, oh, Angela, don't worry about it. You know, you can come back. Dad doesn't have to meet dead. And Marvel. <laughs> It's true, and Marvel, yeah, that's true. Doesn't. They will yeah. resurrect you in a hot-ass minute. <laughs> <laughs> so there's hope there.